before I talked about me being worried about my knee. And, uh, and I am still a little bit worried about my left knee when I squat. But the big problem I'm running into now is actually my elbow. My elbow is fucking killing me. I try to get into good low bar position and that freaking valgus position where my shoulder mobility is not... I, the, the thing I don't really understand is that my right sh left shoulder is actually more mobile than my right. I have better positioning. But for whatever reason, I get more of a valgus pressure into that uh, medial epicondyle. In, the, in that case, golfer's elbow, or sort of a golfer's elbow type pain. That's the in, If you were to put your hands to your side, it's the, 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 up, the uh, inside elbow joint, the inside part of the joint. So typically, tennis elbow is on the outer part of the, the arm, essentially, um, you know, where that kind of, the, where if you were to do hammer curls, that's sort of tennis elbow if you ever get elbow pain in that side. Uh, so anyway, so here I am doing some safety bar squats. I basically get frustrated and I have to go to safety bar squats. And I really don't want to do safety bar squats, but uh, I have to because I need to squat. And you can, and like I said in a previous video, you can always squat. I'm going to squat. I'm going to squat because I need to maintain leg strength in my squat. I don't want to have have just a few sessions fuck me in the head. I mean, I, I'll just tell you right now, just... The squat itself, it's such a hard movement for me and just a, such a mind fuck for me that if I stop squatting, not only will I physically get weaker, I'll get mentally weaker. And I think the truth about it is for me is that if I don't, if I stop squatting, I'm just going to freaking stop squatting. That's what's going to happen. And a powerlifter squat. And if I'm going to be a powerlifter, I have to squat. And the, the, I think that what's really important to understand is that if, if what you were afraid of, you need to do more of. That way you can get better at it. And of course, I'm having a very calculated approach. I'm trying to stay focused with what I'm doing. I'm still trying to figure things out. I'm trying to squat higher maybe, squat on a higher box, do box squats, do a safety bar squat, maintaining leg strength. I think next week what I'm going to try to do is focus on doing front squats. I was actually doing pretty good with some power cleans earlier this week. I actually have a video coming up about that. And it was coming out pretty well. So I'm not going to really, uh, I don't know. No one's perfect. Everyone's going to have their issues. But I think the thing that I want you guys to take away from this video is, man, you just got to keep doing what you can to get strong on the things that you like to do. I think that's really what's important. I mean, there are a lot of better programs out there. Like full body, I think, is still the, one of the best programs. If you can squat, bench, and deadlift in the same day, I think that's best. And, and I wish I could do that. And the problem I have with that is like, if I, if I squat first, my elbow bothers me and I can't bench. So it kind of fucks it up. But so I like doing the once a week uh, or basically doing the main lift once a week. And that's what I do. And I think that uh, if you are wanting to get stronger and you want to get better at squatting and you still can't do the movement like you, you're supposed to, even me, I can't even squat correctly because of mobility, because of my elbow, because of my knee. Still, find a way to do it. Do some body weight squats. I think that's one of the things that I'm afraid. I don't want to. It's not so much I'm afraid to do body weight squats. I don't want to fucking do them. They're just fucking boring. But you need a squat so you can maintain your mobility. You can maintain your flexibility. If you have good mobility already, well, I mean, I guess you don't have to worry about it. But if you're anything like me and you have shitty mobility, uh, you're gonna have to keep working on it. Otherwise, you're gonna have to start over or start way back over. And it's so painful to go through that entire process of having to be able to find the bottom of your squat. So anyways, thanks for watching. See you guys on the next one.